the communication mechanism for the dead created by Thomas Edison. Among the many and complex issues dealt with by the famous American inventor Thomas Edison was the invention of a machine capable of bringing the dead into contact with the living, supposedly. In studying the subject, the great inventor in the last years of his life dealt with real fury as Alan Benson, publisher, author and close friend, had revealed in an American scientific journal recounting the efforts of this great scientist, Thomas Edison, but uh, the events that inspired him to make it happen also. Alan Benson stated the following. A few years before his death, Thomas Edison began to think about the possibility of discovering machine through which the dead could communicate with the living. The reason why this machine remained unknown was because this great inventor wanted to keep it a secret. In the west of his life, he began to believe in spiritualism. This shift in his views was apparently due to the incident that happened to him and which he revealed to me. For 20 years, we saw each other every day. The great sage always spoke to me about his beliefs about the origin and destiny of man. Edison's ideas about life and death were quirky. He advocated that a supreme intellect, a supreme mind, governs the universe and the universe. But at the same time, he advocated that this supreme mind was not particularly interested in the human race. He constantly stressed to me that the power, the breath of life, is immortal and manifests itself in an endless sequence of many manifestations. The breath of life came to our planet from somewhere else in the universe and has the ability to transverse innumerable distances instantly. However, its quantitative capacity is limited. In short, no more numbers can live on Earth than a definite ceiling of living beings because every living organism reproduces so richly that our planet would literally be flooded if we all were kept alive. According to Edison, life is a manifestation of strength and wisdom coming from an inexhaustible legacy to which it returns after the death of every being to be used again. This is uh, Thomas Edison's uh, theories. However, 15 years before his death, out of purely scientific interest, the spirit of this important scientist turned to spirituality and the beyond, the afterlife that is, without this meaning that he became a follower of spiritualism in the strict sense of the term. One day he revealed to me that he considered it possible to build a machine through which the soul from the transcendental could communicate with this world without intermediate mediums. He was fully convinced that there was a soul and that spirits were able to communicate with the living. He was led to this conclusion by an experiment he had attended and which was carried out by his other friend, Sir William Crookes, this important chemist and physicist and also president of the British Society for Psychological Research. Sir William Crookes, C-R-O-O-K-E-S, had managed to present us through a medium in a hermetically sealed room, full day and with plenty of light, an ectoplasmic woman with flesh and bones, Katie King, dressed like all women and make her approach us. We addressed her and she answered us. We talked to her for a while about various things except what happens in the beyond because she ruled it out for us. We even managed to touch her. Then her spirit suddenly disappeared before our astonished eyes. I repeat that all doors and windows were previously inspected and locked. This prompted my friend Thomas Edison to find a way to communicate with spirits of the dead. But he did not tell anyone at all about the results he achieved, not even his assistants. Therefore, his experiments and findings have remained and will remain completely unknown. Perhaps this great inventor had come a long way. Maybe he had achieved what he wanted and kept it a secret for the good of humanity, but he may not have achieved anything at all. His secret for the communication machine with the dead, Edison took with him to his grave and let a mystery linger, end quote. These extraordinary interests were revealed by Alan Benson to his close friend, the unsurpassed American scientist and inventor, Thomas Edison, and this article is published in the newspaper Ethnos the Nation, in uh, the Greek newspaper in the Nation, on April 4, 5, uh, 12, 1934. So I've translated this for you from a Greek article. So obviously, obviously, he was very interested in spiritualism. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account.
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.